you talk about this kind of urgency in your mm. work. Um, and I think you can particularly see that in the work that unites 2D and three-dimensional Yeah. Um, well, because the, the, when you say the 2D, you, the, the, the basis of the 2D, not many people realize this, is they're actually casts of drawings. So I draw on the floor, I draw the outline of the form on the floor, and then I cast, I pour the plaster on top of the drawing, mm -hmm. physically on top of it. And so the, the drawn marks, the pencil and stuff, is actually a cast, it's actually a print, let's say. But it's like a cast because I work on the clays on the floor and then we cast. So, but it's a, but the idea of that is fusing drawing and sculpture, uh, sculptures as tightly as I've ever been able to, which is the spontaneity and the irresponsibility of a drawing is able to take on this kind of sculptural presence by the pouring. So those pieces often have this weird, they are really drawings. I often call them studies for, or, you know, so they, they are, they have that sense of time in them. Mm -hmm. You know, I've often done the drawing pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. I'll plan the drawing, but then I'll do it pretty quickly. And then the pouring happens and the strengthening has to happen really quickly because you uh, the material requires that. So they, you, I think it's in them, you know, it's in the pieces. And then they're reassembled and that, that's often done in a very impatient way. I get very impatient with those pieces. So um, they have that feeling, they're kind of hobbled together, they're kind of, they're almost mutants, they're not really sculptures, they're like drawings that became 3D, quite literally, or mm -hmm. doodles, or, and I, that's what I like about them, that's what I don't like about them too, you know, it's both things.